Okay, so we're back uh, playing Dwarf Fortress. Sorry, it's been a little while. Um, we had some. I've had, mid I've had midterms, and it's my girlfriend was in from out of town, so haven't had a lot of time. Yeah. But we're we're back, and hopefully we'll be get cranking out new videos uh, regularly again. That's that's the plan. Oh, and <laughs> as you probably know, there was a second update with bug fixes, and our old save that we spent all that up time getting us back to was not compatible. So instead of walking you through it for a third time, Harris just did a world real fast. And and kicked some ass and took some names, and I actually think this fortress is better than all of the other ones that we've done. Yeah, and he stopped at his first migrant wave, and that's where we're going to pick up. So right where right where we were, actually. Which is kind of nice. I even have pretty much. I think I have all the same buildings that we had um, before. So all right, let's just take a quick, quick uh, tour of the uh, the buildings. All right, here's. Oh, so here's our bedroom level. Uh, you can see I went kind of. There's lignant and uh, bitmus coal down in the corner, which is why I mined all that out. Okay. Uh, and that should last us for a while, which is nice. Uh, this is the workshop and storage level. Um, I have, uh, if you want to go into Q real quick, we can show what I've built. Uh, carpenter, carpenter, ba carpenter, mason, uh, butcher, and then there's a metal smith's forge, smelter, pretty much everything that you need. Um, tanners, you got tanner going on still, and mechanics. Yeah. Uh, the t okay, I don't think I ever went into the butchery system, so let's do that real quick. Um, okay. When an animal is butchered, it leaves a bunch of different parts. Um, it can leave horns. It can leave. Te it leaves teeth, skulls. Uh, it can. And it leaves skin, uh, which is what the tannery is for. The tanner's workshop, um, and it's the tanner basically uh, tans the skin and it makes it so that it doesn't rot, um, because otherwise leather leather just goes bad and you can't use it. Whereas if I Put it if it gets tanned, it stays good forever. And when we get a leather worker, they'll come and start making stuff out of leather. So, yep, yep. I just have a that. quick question. Quick question: Is this guy eating a jewel? No, I think it's a turtle. I'm gonna go look at that. Yeah, rough milk quartz. Oh, it, oh, there must have been quartz in that room. He's probably going to pick it up and bring it into the uh, oh, okay. gem stock. Oh yeah, um, I have gem stockpiles, bar block. I've been I've been making a lot. I made a ton of uh, coke out of the bitness coal and lignite. Um, so we have a lot, a lot of coke. Here's that sounds the... really bad. If you didn't know what I was talking about, that would sound really bad. Yeah, I got a really nice, sizable farm going on here. I've actually got three plots for when we get, uh, if we ever get different seeds. Um, so. And here's that uh, time. Yeah. Um. And oh. By the way, I never went into this, uh, and I don't think I actually brought a nesting box in that last time. Uh, but if you hit Q and go inside that little room that I built outside here. So the nesting box is um, – it, oh, it's unclaimed. Um, well, a, a chicken claims it. Um, I have one chicken with me, and it lays eggs in that, and the dwarves collect the eggs and eat them. So. Perfect. Perfect. Cool, cool. All right. Okay. Hit U for me, real or hit A actually, not U. Check the announcements. All right. Um, there was some weird stuff that happened at the beginning. Uh, if you go up to the top, um, that I'm not really sure what happened. Um, it's you see, a cavern. Right, yeah. Um, if you hit Z, that'll jump to where that happened. It's it, and if you look at the Z level up in the upper right hand corner, we're 164 blocks below levels below zero. So this is the cavern <laughs> underneath of... Oh, you mean way over here. That's where we should look. Yeah. There's a cave. There's That means there's a cavern beneath us. And for whatever reason, it decided that it's caving in. So... Oh. <laughs> I, I'm, a little, I'm a little curious as to what happened. And if you hit U for yeah, me... Yeah, let's go... Let's, let's skip up to the top. Let's not... U. Yeah, just hit C to jump to like... <laughs> so... Oh, no. oh, but again, hit you, go back to the U screen because this this confused the hell out of me. Uh, go to dead missing. <laughs> I have no idea what a magma crab is, or where it came from, or anything like that. But it's dead, and it, I, I'm assuming it died during the cave in. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I got some groundhogs, some great horned owl. Fun. All right. We also get packs of wolves randomly wandering through here. Oh, joy. 
th those will be fun to send our, our military after, which hopefully we'll be going over in this video. Are we going to do military now? I'm kind of excited uh, for military. Well, we don't really well, – this migrant wave will probably have somebody that we can use as a as in to start our military off. Um, so let's let's uh, hit um, hit Z again. Or oh no, keep pausing. Or hit hit sorry not uh, hit A not Z. I, didn't, I I'm sorry. I don't know why I said Z. It's okay. A. Yeah, go to the announcements and jump to the migrants. Hit Z to zoom to the location. Okay, okay. so here they come in. Um, they're right there. It's a clothier. Clothier. Cl um, cl they make clothier? clothing. All right, so I just unpause and let him come in so we can look at it. Yeah, him. let's let's let him unpause and let it come in. I don't know how many are. I I had like a ton. One, two, three, four, four. It looks like four. I thought it was only four at first two, but then there are like for whatever reason a whole ton more came in. When I, I played by myself, by the way, on this map. So maybe it's generating differently, but um, so hit you and let's go look at what we have that came in. Okay, uh, let's see. Clothier, so, clother weaver, fish cleaner, but not a fisher, and a spinner. And a spinner. Okay. Let's go look. At, okay, let's let's go look at these guys. Uh, jump over to them and see. Let's let's go look at their skills here. So this guy's novice butcher, clother, thresher, and weaponsmith. I'm lagging behind here. I still haven't left the unit screen. Here we go. Okay, so novice butcher, he's a weaponsmith. That's nice. Um, we'll have a second person able to do stuff like that. Is this... That's hmm. not helpful. Uh, he's expert comedian, though. <laughs> very helpful. Oh, excellent. We have Ooh. someone that... Can, has fighting skills, good, although good, good. very minimal. What about the other one? And the last guy was a Marks Dwarf. There we go. Not not that helpful, actually. Wait, but I thought he can use, like, bows and stuff. And yeah. Um, well, he could, he can. We could actually set him probably up as a hunter, which would be good, but we don't have, A, we didn't bring any crossbows, and B, we don't have anybody to make. This guy's a weaponsmith, though. We can have him smith some weapons. Um, yeah, you can make crossbows out of metal, I guess. Um, I generally tend to make them out of wood. But that's just me. Okay. Okay, let's let it. Yeah. Um. Let's build a clothier's workshop. Um. Since we have a clothier. Oh. Uh, by the way, there's a new thing. I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's a. Uh, if it's actually supposed to be the way it is, but migrants don't come in with anything. Any any uh, job turned on. So you have to go in and turn on their jobs manually. Oh, weird. Okay. So K. Clothier. So K. Yeah. I'm just just selecting it so people know. Um, so it's okay. I'll just throw that down right there. Make it a bauxite. Sure. Yeah, it's a lot of bauxite. Let's make it out of coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't waste our coke. I will not waste any of our coke. Don't you worry. Uh, and let's make sure that we have enough beds. Uh, I think we should, but. Okay, build bed. Go down a level. Yeah, uh, build some more. Build, fill up the rooms if, if we can. I think we can. Actually, we're going to be short by one, but that's okay. You're right. Or actually. two, actually. Two. We're going to be short by two. Oh, well. Um, that's good. you got doors for them, so that's good. Do you, Hey, um, I've actually been playing a little bit by myself on that original world. Uh, should I um, make bedrooms for people? Like, specify which bedrooms they can stay yeah, in? Yeah, no, it's a good idea to... to just you don't even have to uh, specify who needs to sleep there. They'll choose their own bedrooms and assign themselves to them. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I just been assigning people. <laughs> like if you Q, like go to Q, like and go to a, find a bedroom. I think I may have made them all bedrooms already, but Looks like find one that's not. Oh, they yeah, and they assign themselves. I see. That's cool. Like uh, find one that's not, and look, there we go. Just hit R on that one and make it a room, and just call it good. And it, and somebody will come and claim those rooms. Do that for all of them. Wait. I've also, if you notice, that there's like things, there's little like symbols. I don't even know what that is, like a kind of a pie symbol. In yeah. the rooms. Uh, those are cabinets, and they make dwarves happy if there's they have like for other furniture. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I, I just on instinct, I made some bigger rooms just to make sure if any nobles showed up, they'd be happier because I can because they need a lot more stuff, don't they? See what I do. What I do with nobles is I tend to just build a separate level for nobles. Um, that way, I can also just drown them if they piss me off or kill Are you them. Serious? <laughs> um, they, it's a common practice. You lock them in a room and then make them pull a lever. 
Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's fairly common. I mean, if you look if you look on the Reddit, there's a lot of jokes about like killing nobles and stuff like that. That's great. 